Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Sean from Start to Finish Gaming, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved here on the brand new Xbox Series X. Guys, in the last episode, we went over to Genesis and we finally got our hands on some X Argents. If you guys haven't checked out that video, in the right hand corner right about now is a link sending you on over there, so definitely check out that video, then come on back to this one. So guys, unfortunately, I did have another episode planned for you guys, but then I realized that the audio was corrupted. So I do apologize, guys. I'm going to take the next few minutes to explain what we did in that episode and catch you guys up. So we started out the episode by making ourselves some mind wipe tonics. Uh, we pumped all of our levels into crafting skill in order to make better blueprints. We ended up making a better long neck. We also ended up making a better um, pike. We ended up making a better pickaxe, we ended up making a better crossbow, um, and a few other items too. And we ended up getting a decent amount of crafting skill in it, so definitely worth pumping your levels into crafting skill, making better items, and then using another Mind Wipe Tonic in order to rebalance your stats. Um, we then moved over to Crystal Isles, uh, searching for a Aberrant Otter. And not only did we find one Aberrant Otter, we found a total of three. Um, we then looked for some dire bears. We got a male and a female dire bear, so definitely going to be breeding those sometime in the future. Um, and then we wrapped up the video by actually getting ourselves our first thylacolio on this series. Um, but guys, today... Today, we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, I've noticed in the past few episodes, we've been jumping from one map to another. We've been going here, there, everywhere. And I've decided that we're going to slow things down a little bit. Um, I've decided we're going to move over to Scorched Earth. I have a few items with me. We're going to take along a few dinos. But the idea is that we're going to move over to Scorched Earth. And we're going to stay on Scorched Earth until we defeat the Manticore. And not only the Manticore the Alpha Manticore. So the idea is we're going to move over to Scorched Earth. We're going to establish a base. We're going to start establishing our dominance on that map. Um, we're then going to go and try to get some of the artifacts. We're going to go and get our Rexes because I think for this one, we're going to actually go the traditional route. Um, we're going to use Rexes and the UD versus the Wyvern plan, but we'll see once we get there. Um, but the idea is, again, we're not going to be leaving that map until um, we defeat the boss um, and finally unlock some tech gear, which will really, really help us out, especially once we start facing the island bosses. Um, so if you guys are excited about this, if you guys are excited that we're heading on over to Scorched Earth, smash that like button. It really, really helps me out. On top of that, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps me out. Also, a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. It's absolutely crazy to me that we are currently at over 650 subscribers. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so, so much. And again, I do apologize of the audio corruption for the last episode. Um, I hope you guys understand and you guys are uh, cool with us moving over scorched earth so guys i will see you over on scorched earth guys welcome back to scorched earth we've actually already been here before um we've come over here a few times in order to get wyverns and everything like that um but speaking of wyverns i actually have not brought them over um we might in the future like if we're getting ready for the boss fight and we do actually think uh we want to try to uh take on the mana core with them then maybe i will bring them in fact over um but what i'm trying to do now is i'm pretty much just trying to get over to the obelisk so we can get a few things um normally i would be running but i did see a raptor pack right when we spawned in here so um yeah i'm <laughs> trying to get away from those the best i can um and just get the higher ground because usually you have a little bit easier of a time on this map when you do in fact get the higher ground you look actually really nice um anyways let's get on over to the obelisk it hopefully shouldn't be too too bad probably should pick up some berries and stuff along the way though i probably should conserve my energy too in case we do have to make a dash for it at any point um with the movement speed that i have set up we are in fact faster than raptors i think we're at 130 movement speed um we are really close to uh terror bird speed though so if we run into a terror bird it may be a bit of an issue, but we'll see how this goes. The biggest issue is going to be right when we get to the obelisk. 
um, if there's Capros, we are in trouble. Um, because again, I don't have any Wyverns to save me or anything this time, so yeah. We'll see how this goes. Um, I really do enjoy this map. I think I mentioned it the last time we came over here. I wasn't really a fan of this map to begin with, but it's definitely grown on me. That's a raptor. Okay. Um, what if we go over this way? I don't know where he went. I think we're quicker than dire wolves too, so at least we're good in that department. Um, along with Daydon, so we can pretty much outsprint a lot of stuff on this map. It's just those terror birds <laughs> are going to be an issue. Um, but we're actually doing really well. I thought we would have probably died at some point already, but uh, we're looking okay so far. Now it's just a matter... Okay, I thought I was hearing something. Um, it's just a matter of how many Capros are near Green Obelisk. Um, because, yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue. All right, don't see any from up here, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Lamontria, okay, we're good there. Take a little damage there. Oh, uh, there's a Capro. There's two Capros. All right, how do we do this? All right, you know what? I'm going to start collecting some stuff. I think I'm going to have to... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to make a bow and arrow, actually. Let me kind of get to higher ground, though, in case there is anything bad around here. There's Pegos. Those are never fun. Um, let's see here. Bow and arrow, bow and arrow. Can you... Bola? Nah, you can't, probably. I mean, need a little bit of wood, and then what do we need? We need flint... Thatch and fiber. Okay, so I do need one of these to make some flint. I am going to have to get a little bit of wood, though, so we probably should make... Um, Let's see. Let me do this for a second so at least I can quickly grab everything that we actually need out of here. Let's grab the berries. We're definitely going to need those. We don't need the sand. We need that. We need that. We need that. And we need that. Okay, everything else we're pretty good with for right now. All right, let's get a little bit of flint... It's like we're starting all over. We're making all the stone stuff again. <laughs> um, but the idea is that I'm going to try to get on, like, one of these rocks, shoot both Capros over here, and then hopefully, I don't know if I can get them to aggro on something else. Like, maybe the Jaboa, unfortunately, might have to. You know what? What if we use a Jaboa as a... I mean, there's two Pegos there, so maybe that's not the best thing to do. But maybe use a Jaboa as, like, a sacrificial Jaboa, which kind of sinks, but... It is what it is. I feel like that's kind of what they're on this map for, right? Um, anyways, let's see. Oh, there's a Jaboa right here. Oh, that's actually perfect. Knock him out. Come on. Hey. Make seven arrows. Okay. Something for right now. That's not the worst thing. All right. Let's start collecting some flint and stuff in the meantime. Perfect. Um, I am going to need some thatch. I also need some fiber, so let's get a lot of that. All right, unfortunately, you are going to be sacrificed, little one, so you won't be lasting too long with us. Okay, I need more arrows. I also need a little bit of wood. Okay, let's get that first so we can at least make the arrow, the bow. I wonder if with enough arrows, could I take down two Capros? Instead of having to sacrifice something... And, oh my god, oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, no, 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 this isn't gonna work. And we're screwed. Don't know where the Capros are. Um... I guess I'm just going to keep hitting this guy until I kill him. And just kidding, he killed me. <sighs> and the dire wolf killed the Capro. I mean, killed the uh, Jerboa. <sighs> I probably should have just went straight for the obelisk, too, but... <sighs> trying to be a little smart, but I think this time we're just going to just gun it to the obelisk and see if we can not only get there, but... Um, just get our stuff and go kind of thing. Um, that dire wolf might still be there, but I'm wondering if the dire wolf's going to pick a fight with the Capros. Which might not be the bad thing. Might give us just enough time to get our stuff, but we'll see. All right, guys, so I still have to get everything else out of the obelisk. I decided to just grab the Argent first. Um, this will be the main flyer on the map here. Um, this is the new X Argent, actually. I'll show it off a little bit better. Um, I just wanted to kind of fly around and see where the Capros are, because I remember seeing two. 
And, oh, there's one right here. Oh, uh, okay. So I was actually really lucky that I was able to get over to the obelisk. Um, all right. Can I pick up cappers? I don't remember. Um, I do need to get rid of these two, and I feel like having the Argent would have been the best. Um, I could have brought the Thyla. Okay, there we go. I'm wondering if I can just grab him. Let's give that a shot. I think he grabbed you. Let's see. Did I grab him? No. I think I might have used the wrong button, though. All right, where is he? Nope. Oh, God. I'm in the water. Oh, crap. Neutral. And we're going to die in a second here, but at least the Urgent took care of it. Okay. Oh, my God. All right, that Argent should be okay. I did whistle him on neutral, so at least we have one of the Capros out. It was only a level 10. Not too bad. <laughs> oh. Again, stupidity on my part. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, let's take another attempt over to the Obelisk and see how this goes. All right, guys, now that we're all situated, I can kind of show you guys what I actually brought over uh, with us to Scorch Earth. So we do have the new X Argent. Um, the dinos I brought along is the new Thyla. Um, I brought over the Mantis. I also brought over the Equus, um, the Anki, the Dodicarus, and the Jaboa. The Jaboa, obviously, because we are on Scorched Earth, that'll really help us out, especially with weather and whatever. Um, the Dode, the Anki, and the Mantis are more for helping us build bases and build structures and stuff like that. Anki's obviously going to be for metal gathering. The Thyla is going to be mainly our um, what we're going to be using for mode of transportation. I'm really excited to throw this thing out for the first time. I am so excited. Um, really nice colors on it too. I don't know if I don't know if it's Crystal Isles or not. I feel like the colors on there are just brighter with a lot of creatures. Um, so I'm really really excited. This one unfortunately isn't imprinted or anything. It is our only first one. Um, eventually we will get another Thyla and then we'll imprint it. This one we will level though because that melee damage is. Yeesh, at 224, not good at all. Um, the Argent, I don't really want to use as much for travel. I do I do prefer to stay on the ground. The Argent will pretty much just help out, um, help out, like, the Anki and stuff for traveling with metal and whatever. Um, but that's pretty much it. I also brought over some shotgun shells. Um, I also brought over some Trank Darts. Again, we do have some of this stuff with us, but again, the idea is that this is just to get us established and we'll continuously make stuff as we need. Um, the Draboa, though, is actually um, bred and everything. Um, I ended up going over to Ragnarok, getting a ton of Draboas, um, and this is our final little guy here, and I really, really like him. He's got a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, you know, nothing too crazy, um, but finally I can ride around on a Thyla. I'm really, really excited excited for this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head on out. We're going to start looking for uh, just a quick little safe place to kind of just call home for the meantime until we get a more permanent spot and whatever. I actually think what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to um, probably closer to Red Obelisk, like where we actually set up in the last series. Um, yeah, it's, it's over kind of past those mountains and everything. It's kind of closer to Red Obelisk. It's also pretty close to... Um, uh, what is it called? Um, one of the caves that's there. It's not Nasty. Nasty's is down there. Um, one of the caves where you get the artifacts in. I think we're going to set up somewhere over there because it is a relatively safe area. There's a lot of flat areas over there too, so I think it'd be a pretty safe place to call home for right now. So let's head on over. Uh, we'll kind of get ourselves all set up, get ourselves established, and go from there. And guys, welcome to Scorched Earth. All right, guys, so it ain't much, but this is going to be our location of our starter base. Um, not too bad. We're near water. We're actually down in the ravine. I'll show you guys on the map exactly where we are. Um, you do want to be down in the ravine if you are coming over to this map because it tends to be a lot cooler down here. Uh, once you get above those um, rocks right there, traditionally, it's like 20 to 30 degrees hotter. So that was the problem that we had the last time we were over here in the last series when we made our base kind of over that way where it was hitting 
100 to 120 degrees at certain points. Um, and you just go through food. You go through water way too fast. So down here in the ravine, the temperature is a lot more uh, manageable. Let's put it that way. Now, this area doesn't look too big. But obviously, once we get some of our creatures out, like we have the Dodicarus, we also have Ankies and stuff like that. We also have the Equus. Um, we'll be able to um, actually make this area pretty damn reasonable to work with here. Um, let me get all these guys out, at least to start with. I'm going to actually start going around and just starting to um, kind of get all this stuff out of here. So we have a lot of stone that we have to get out of here. We have a lot of trees, all that kind of stuff. Um, I do plan eventually on getting a thorny dragon because on this map that is the, um, that's the best way at this point to, um, get wood and everything. I didn't bring over the mammoth because they don't spawn on this map, so I didn't feel like it was really necessary. Um, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to take the Equus out also. Um, oh, I really, I just realized. Oh, no, there is a way back up that way. Um, we need to actually go get some cactus. Um, I think it's cactus or cactus sap um, in order to um, actually make... Um, Adobe, pretty much. Um, so we're going to be heading on up this way a little bit. There's this little ravine right here. Um, there's this little hill, I mean, right here where we're going to go up. There's a little bit of cactus. I'll show you that once we get up there, kind of what it looks like in case you guys aren't familiar. Um, oh, I got to go all the way up. So you do have cactus from one of these things. I think this will work. Yeah, you can see we get a lot of cactus sap, so 93 from that. Um, so you do have these big ones. The other option is the small looking ones which are these little guys right here. These, you can just get a ton of cactus sap all right away. Like, look at that. We already have 2,620 just from this group. Now, that's going to make a ton of cactus sap for us. And I'm pretty sure they get a weight reduction on the Equus, too, which is awesome. Um, if you guys have noticed, a lot of the dinos that we brought over have a stupid amount of levels in them um, that we're able to use. That is an actual glitch. Um... Once you transfer some dinos over, there is a chance that they're going to have a lot of levels to work with. Um, so, I, unfortunately, I mean, we are going to use it. Um, why not? I mean, we have the levels. We might as well pump uh, all of our dinos with some stats. But um, just so you know, that does happen when you do transfer over from one map to another. Uh, traditionally, it does happen when you actually cryopod your dinos, then move them on over um, versus actually throwing them out and transferring them that way. Um, but long story short, all we have to do is just take this back to our little uh, base area, and then we're going to start making some... Um, oh, what is it called? It's not cementing paste or whatever. I don't remember the exact name of it, but we'll figure it out when we get on over there. But it is the material that you need to make adobe. Um, just watch out in these waters too, especially if you're going to be here. There's a ton of capros, so uh, just be well aware of that before you do decide to uh, make a base in one of these areas. Alright, cactus sap and sand. Just throw that in there, and it sh he should be able to hold all of it. Um, yeah, he gets a reduction on that too, actually. So it goes from 50 down to 10, and he does get a reduction on the actual cactus sap too. Uh, just throw this in his inventory, and we can make clay. That's exactly what it is. So we can make a total of 741 clay. Um, do these come out two at once? Yeah, they do. So we're going to get a ton here. In the meantime, I'm going to start leveling this guy. Um, stamina, 2744 pre is perfect like we don't actually need to bother with stam um this is all imprinted and everything obviously um i am gonna put some health on him though so let's get that up to at least five thousand. i would say 44 30 is actually perfect that's fine we're gonna put a ton into weight on this guy so he can just hold a ton of stuff there we go 1256 and then we're gonna do a total of uh, 10 levels into melee, so final stats so far are 4430 in health, 2744 in stam, 1256 weight, and um, 432 melee. So again, this guy's going to be an absolute beast for us. Um, with Dodicaruses, it's actually really, really easy. All you really do is just move up weight on them, and that's pretty much it, because they get the reduction in stone. That's all you're ever going to be using them for. Same thing with the Anki. The Anki... Um, Pretty much just upgrade in weight. If you want, you can upgrade a little bit of stamina because it is a little slow and it does take a decent amount of stam. Or you can do melee. Typically, I just go weight. The thyle is going to be a little bit interesting for us. We do have to level this guy a lot because health-wise, not good. Stamina, not great. Um, weight, okay. Melee, horrible. Um, and this isn't imprinted or anything, and I don't really plan on imprinting, um, I mean, uh, breeding this one. I feel like we'll just get two higher level ones and kind of go from there. Um, so for 
his stats, for starter cat's stats here, we're going to probably do... I want to do a, a decent amount of melee, of uh, health on this guy. Because he's going to need it. 69, 76 is good. Let's give him a lot more stamp too. 2400 should be fine. A little bit of weight. 768 is perfect. And then we're just going to bump melee into this guy. Um, again, 281 melee is not even that good, honestly. But uh, the rest of his stats are just going to be melee. Obviously, we want this guy to just be able to pretty much one-shot everything. But I do want to put a little bit of health onto him because, again, it's just a primitive saddle, and that's it. Uh, before, he was hitting for 88, um, which is horrible, honestly. Um, but let's see kind of what we're working at now. So 88 up to 112, and he does bleed. So that's actually not too, too bad. Um, we should get a decent amount of leveling too while we're on this map so not too too bad there um the x argent i think i mentioned it before i'm not going to level it right now i'm not going to really worry about that too much the x argent while it's here is going to be mainly just for um travel um that's really for picking up the anki bringing it on over to metal and kind of back and forth that way i would rather stay um on the land in this map honestly i think it gives us a little bit of a risk factor and also it's just it's a lot more fun honestly being on the ground than flying in the air with risks and everything involved uh this guy so far is getting a ton of clay so in the meantime we're gonna start going around here i'm just gonna drop the stone for now it's totally fine and we're going to start kind of hitting away, seeing what we can actually break here. Um, it does look like we can get a decent amount of stuff here. Oh my god, we already have so much sand. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to drop these as little packages because their timer is a little bit longer. We have about five minutes till that spoils. So you know what? We're going to go around. We're going to get as much of these done as possible. Oh my god, it's already done again? Jesus. All right, guys, so two things I actually realized while doing this. Uh, one, I forgot that my uh, setting in order for stuff to respawn is actually pretty low, so a lot of the the uh, rocks that I've already broken are now coming back, so I should probably start putting down foundations and stuff. Uh, second thing I noticed is I totally forgot to uh, bring over my sickle, so I have been doing the fiber by hand and everything. For right now, we're just going to make a simple 3 by uh, 4 by. Four by two? Eh, let's pick that up. Let's do a three by three. Just do a quick little three by three, just so we can get a base set up. We can start putting some items in here. Um, you know what? A three by two is perfect. Again, we don't have to go too, too crazy. It's not too hot down here. We don't have to go full Adobe or anything yet. It's just really just gathering um, the, the easy, simple materials to start out with. So let's see what else we can make here. Um, I think I'm just going to do the top as wood. We'll probably get a little bit of stone just around this thing just to kind of... Yeah, you know what? We could just keep it like this. It's not that big of a deal. Um, let's go ahead and get ourselves the materials to make a bed. That's probably going to be the best thing. I need a little bit of hide. That's perfect. Got that on you. Let's throw down a bed. Um, let's get a few... I want to get at least one large storage box going. Maybe I haven't unlocked a large storage box yet. No, oh, I did. It's right there. Okay, so we probably just need a little bit more materials. Um, I probably should just go out and file it at this point and just get it a little bit more wood, because that's definitely what we actually need. Um, and then I also need to actually start running some of the... Um, probably going to start needing to run up some pipes and everything up there for just water. It's just a little bit easier than having to deal with the capros down there. All right, bed and storage, easy peasy. Now we just need a little bit of stone. That shouldn't be too, too hard uh, from the dodecarus here. And lastly, some flint. Let's get our forges going. I'm going to make two to start. Uh, just one smithy for right now, too. But we're going to have to go out and get a little bit of metal in a bit. Um, let's kind of line these up, kind of put them in a corner. That's fine. Maybe like one here, one there. That's perfect. Let's get a little bit of wood in there just to start. All right, and a couple little metal nodes right here. Let's drop the Anki on down. Not too far from base either, which is pretty damn good. And let's see how much metal we get here with this guy. Uh, should be a decent amount, honestly. This guy's pretty damn well leveled. Uh, 364 right off the bat. Oh my god. 364, 336. Is that another node? Oh my god. All right, 
pretty good haul of metal there. We have a couple thousand metal already. Pretty damn good with an imprint and Anki. Uh, definitely highly recommend. If you have some Ankies, just breed them, imprint them. You get a ton of levels on weight when you bump them up. Honestly, it's one of the best things you can do is just imprint your dinos if you can. All right, and I think for the meantime, guys, we're going to use the Mantis to get our uh, wood before we actually get a Thorny Dragon. Uh, that'll really, really help us out. But for the meantime, this guy will do enough work for us uh, to get a n enough uh, wood for us. I'm just going to chuck everything else out for right now because, again, wood is pretty much all that we need. We just need to get these uh, forges up and running here so we can just start... Um, crafting a lot more metal and everything so uh let me slowly kind of do this back on back to base with this decent amount of wood um we'll get the smithy going and then i think from there we're gonna go out and travel a little bit um again we're not gonna go too crazy with the base or anything for right now because again we're just getting started but i think i do want to go out for a quick little tape to try to find ourselves a thorny dragon so let me get all this uh, metal started and everything let me get the smithy going um so at least we just have a little bit of material here at the base ready to go and then we'll uh head out for an adventure uh so let me finish this on up and then we'll get started in a bit guys all right guys so our little base setup is good for right now we have two large storage bins we have a bed we have two refining forges one smithy and i did actually put down a feeding trough brought the dinos all a little bit closer so i put a little bit of meat in there i also put a little bit of berries um i did also level the jerboa i put all the levels into weight because that's pretty much all you need with that guy um the mantis we're actually going to put a little bit into his stamina because again the stamina is a little low and again, they pretty much bump up pretty fast in the stamina department, so 1080 should be fine. 871 in weight, I would say, probably bump that. The melee, again, um, it does help, but at the same time, we have a really, really good uh, spear that he's going to be using. Uh, Pike, sorry, um, along with the other um, tools and everything with that, so he should honestly be okay. So I'm going to bump a ton into uh weight here uh 1188 is pretty good i also want to get a little bit of melee of uh, health i'm sorry on him that's good 2850 uh and then we'll just put three levels into melee that's totally fine and then he's all leveled out ready to go equus i think we already did yeah we bumped a ton into weight on you so you're all pretty good um the x argent we'll probably put weight we'll probably put stuff on you later um and i think everyone else is pretty much ready to go so now what we're gonna do guys we're gonna leave our little base area here it is a nice setup and everything like that um it's a nice area it's just really really uh cool down here which is nice it's currently 72 degrees 842 in the morning um but at least everyone's safe and sound here eventually i will put up gates and everything like that but now we're gonna go out on an adventure because why not um we have some shotgun ammo with us we did happen to have the sickle um i don't know how i didn't see that before um so i am gonna bring it along with me because if we do come across um actually i don't know if it's these flowers that do it oh it is Oh, cool. So we could actually repair our stuff pretty much right away. That's awesome. So I'm going to gather up this little bit of silk, but if we see any purple flowers along the way, I'm going to gather um, as much silk as possible to bring back to base because, again, um, we're going to be looking for desert cloth armor like crazy. So I'm definitely going to want that. Let me just put the shotgun um, kind of ready to go just in case if we come across uh, capros and stuff like that. Which, speaking of the devil, there's a capro right there. And there we go. And now it's gone. <laughs> This is actually another area that I would recommend. It's actually pretty close to where I set up my base. Um, just to show you guys on the map kind of where we are. Um, it's right down here. It's cool down here. You're in the ravine area technically. So again, you don't really have scorching temperatures or anything like that. Um, it's relatively flat here. And a lot of these rocks break. So you can make this as big or small as you want. Um, the only real threat down here is pretty much raptors. So again, for a starter base, this is definitely a good area. So I definitely recommend coming on down here. We're also close to the T-Rex triangle which we won't go too crazy with in this episode again we'll probably run over there at some point because again i'm gonna be on the hunt for um pretty much any high level tames i want to get a parasaur at some point um i think because we're gonna need that in the future for a uh very special tame that you can only get on this map um and you do need the parasaur to help locate it um I do have a feeling we're going to be going for this creature in the future, so I'm not trying to... Um, I'm giving you little hints, but I don't want to spoil kind of what we're going to do. But anyways, um, Pyrosaur could be on the uh, mind today, but also um, 
possibly, hopefully, um, ooh, actually, Saber would be kind of cool. Um, is that a Microraptor, though? Oh, Jesus, that's a Microraptor. Ugh, I hate Microraptors. All right, I'm going to run away from that. Um, we're not going to worry about that, but Thorny Dragon is the other option today, too. Um, unless we come across, like, a 150-something that's, like, too good to be true, that kind of idea. Um, but we'll see what we actually find. But, like I said, on the hunt for some Thorny Dragons and possibly a Parasaur. Ugh, I was going to say, all I saw was the Tech Rex, and I'm like, oh, my God. Is this going to be too good to be true that we're actually going to be possibly getting, like, a Tech Rex today if that thing was crazy leveled? But... No, it's a level 6, but I will take the metal, I'll take the electronics and stuff like that, because we definitely will need that stuff eventually. Um, so let me get this guy out of here. And there we go. We got our scrap metal, we got a little bit of element, um, and we are on the move. Alright guys, so I've been kind of looking around. Um, no real sign of anything yet. I have come across a lot of these purple flowers though, which is how you get your... Um, silk, but nothing really yet. But I do want to take a look at this loot drop over here because it does have a ring around it. Um, so there's a chance of high quality loot here. Hopefully those Daydons aren't coming for me. Okay, they're not. Good. All right, let's see if we can get to this drop. Let's see if it's actually pretty good or not. Hopefully it is. Uh, there's a saddle in there. Uh, Morella top saddle. Okay, I mean, not great, but we can just chuck the rest of the stuff. We don't necessarily need these blueprints and stuff like that but we will keep the morale top saddle because you never know maybe we will uh tape a morale tops at some point um but still on the hunt haven't really found much um we'll see what we find oh there are thorny dragons up here okay sweet let's see 15 10 nope no bueno oh crap how the hell did he get up here Oh my god, I was like hanging on like one of these things and literally the Carno just like somehow walked all the way up. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's check out the levels of some stuff over here because there is a lot of things here. We have a lot of Carnos, we also have a lot of um, Sabres and stuff like that. I know one of these females was a 110. That's okay, it's not great. It'd be kind of cool to do a Carno pack actually, especially with their new bleed and everything. I don't think we've really ever uh, gotten to do that yet. Uh, so definitely kind of interesting to do on this map because if you are gonna do a Carno group on any map, it's definitely this map. I feel like they would just really just rip through everything on here, but um, haven't really found a lot of high level stuff. Like that Carno was probably the highest level I've seen so far. Um, but again, just up here in the mountains, there's a lot of stuff, so hopefully, oh god, we gotta get away from that. Um, but hopefully we come across something pretty damn soon, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, crap. Okay, that's a 145 male Megatherium, and that's a 35 female, ooh. 145, we can't pass this up, can we? Nah, we can't pass this up. Alright, well, we're getting a Megatherium today. <laughs> no way am I passing up a 145. Okay, we gotta make a quick little trap here. Um, we're probably just gonna use stone, not go too, too nuts with this. Um, let me get some stuff uh, kind of set up here, because definitely gonna try to go for that if we can. All right, trap is all done. Just got to set it on up. Um, I think we're going to drop it down here. Um, I didn't actually realize this is actually a really nice area for a base right down in this little uh, basin here. Let's see if these guys are any good, too, because might as well get them in the trap if we can. Um, oh, we got some sabers. Uh, 20 and 20. Okay, now let's get rid of these first. I think we're going to set that trap up pretty much right around here. Um, because I believe the Megatherium should be a little over. Yeah, he's right there. That's him right there, right? Um, he's over there somewhere. I don't know. Um, let's see here. So let's move over this way. I don't want to get too, too close to them. I need to also get all these creatures out of here. But I think we can set it up like, right there. I think it would be a really good spot for this. Okay, 20 Terror Bird. Let's see, what level are you? 20. That Terror Bird's going to be an issue. Definitely. Um, and then we have a Saber, too. What level are you, Mr. Saber? 10. Okay, you're gone, too. That's easy. Yeah, we're going to set the trap up right here. That should be pretty easy to bring this thing down. All right, set up the trap. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. Get you out of the way for a quick second. I know I had you on follow. Make this a little bit easier. Put this down in my inventory. One, two, three, four, five, oops. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I should have made more. And then 12. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some more. Do we think they can get through one? Because maybe we don't need... You know what? We're going to try this. We're going to try this just by itself the way that I made the trap. Let's see if this actually, in fact, works. All right. Is that the good one or the bad one? That's the good one. Okay. Just in case things go sour, let's get our shotgun shells out. I don't know what we're going to tame this guy with, but we'll see. Here in Argent. Yeah, I got to get rid of that thing. What level are you? 15. Okay, that shouldn't be too, too bad. Now, where did the Megatherium go? Okay. Okay. Get in the damn trap. Oh, God, he came in the other side. Run, 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 run. All right, let's try this with the Thylo now, which is probably what I should have done right from the beginning. All right, let's see. He should be chasing me. Perfect. Get into the trap. Get into the trap. You're right there. Come on. Come on. Right here. Come on. All right, that's fine. Come on. Oh, God. No, 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 no. He's going berserk now. Forget that. Yep. No, 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 no. Run. So if you ever see that glow or anything, get the hell away from them. Um, yeah, so he basically killed a bug, so now he has that buff and everything around him. That trap was not well made. I apologize, guys. Oh my gosh. Um, alright, let's see what we can do here. Alright, buff is in fact off now. That's totally fine. We can set it up like this, kind of do a quick little bite. Hopefully he'll come after us now. He will not. And of course, now the Argent has to get involved. Okay, perfect. Give me that, just in case maybe he does take prime meat. Come on, dude. I'm right here. I don't want to bite him too, too much. Come on. All right. Well, we might as well start tranking him. Maybe he'll finally start coming for us once I start hitting him a bit. But I need him to lay off the trap. I need him to start attacking us. There we go. Come on. All right. Now loop back around. Let's try this again. Come on. Yep. Okay. He's in the trap. And I don't know if he can actually get out now. Um, so all we're going to do is we're just going to continuously hit this guy, hopefully knock him out fairly quickly. Um, but this is a pretty damn good find. A 145 Megatherium. Definitely was not expecting to come over to this map to get one of these, but definitely going to be needed, especially for the Broodmother fight. So we'll see how this goes. All right, it looks like he's already running, actually, and he can't get out of the trap. So we're totally good. It should only take a few more shots to knock this guy out, actually. Um, I am really, really happy with... Um, actually making a better rifle out of this. So originally, I think it was like 300 damage. Now we're at like 360 damage with the um, with the uh, bonus. Um, this is, wow, that was really quick. Um, level 60, I gotta watch out for this one. This is a level 15, I think, right? 35, let's just take this guy out now then just to get this out of the way. Oh God, worst timing to have this done. Neutral. Kill him, kill him, kill him. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. Perfect. Imagine if the thing went, ended up getting, um, imagine the thing ended up killing a freaking whatchamacallit. Oh my god, he needs to heal like crazy though, the Thyla. Jesus. Um, I'm pretty sure these, uh, Megatheriums are omnivores, so I should be able to just use, um, prime meat on this guy. Yeah, we won't get a perfect tame, which really, really stinks, but, um, oh my god, Morellatops, can you get out of here, please? Um, but starting, oh god, he has 235 melee. And we're not going to get a perfect team with this, I don't think. No! All right, guys. So, uh, Prime Meat will actually uh, fully tame this guy, which is perfect. We are going to get a perfect team with this, which is even better. Um, I just had to go out and kill a few Parasurs, though. So, uh, it should take a total of 10, I think. Yeah, it should be good enough, hopefully. 
Um, let's see if that is in fact enough. That should be good, but let's see if we actually uh, tape this guy up right away. I should have, uh, he should have been sitting out long enough. Uh, we did encounter a sandstorm, so I did have to kind of find shelter. I thought that inside that little ravine there would have worked, but unfortunately it didn't. Uh, no, we're at 70%, so it has a little bit more time. Um, haven't really found, ooh, there's another Megatherium. At ah, level 10. Nope, you suck. Um, but this one's pretty close. Um, the unfortunate thing is, though, that I did have to leave the area. Um, so we did have new spawns come in, which you guys saw. I killed the two sabers there. There were also a couple daydons and everything, too, which kind of stinks when you have to go on the hunt for specific uh, food and everything to tame your creatures with. But um, this is actually a really, really nice spot. This is down in the... Um, right about here, around uh, 65 latitude. Uh, 40, 42 longitude. Um, it's right near the entrance to the cave, though. The entrance to um, that underground passage is over there. But you do have a little um, water well here. It's pretty cool here, the 75 degrees. And you do have these little, like, um, these rocks, basically, that you can build little platforms probably on and then just connect them. Like, that would actually be a kind of cool build, I feel like. Um, but we're going to wait till this guy's tamed on up. We'll check out his final stats and then, yeah. All right, guys, he is up. Let's check out those stats. I'm really excited to see. Come on. Good melee. You had 235 to begin with. 366. That's actually not that bad. Okay, uh, going over all the stats. We have 5624 in health. Uh, I don't know. Seems okay. Uh, stamina 1320. 1290 in weight. Yeah, these guys always had a lot of weight. And 366 in melee, so not too bad. Um, this is definitely going to help us out on the island, going up against the Broodmother. Um, but this guy is pretty damn good. It's one of those teams that just... You know, you see it, you see it's a 145, you have to tame it, basically. Even though that really wasn't our plan today, we were really looking for some other stuff, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button, questions, comments, leave it down below. Um, if you're new to the channel, enjoy my series, you're enjoying my content, subscribe. I really do appreciate it, and it really, really helps me out. Guys, we got a lot done today. We started on Scorched Earth. We got a little base set up and everything. And we got ourselves a Megatherium. Again, one of those tames that I wasn't really expecting to get today. But you can't pass up a 145 Megatherium. Especially when you're also kind of getting ready for the Broodmother fight too in the process. So that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, one quick thing before we end off this episode. Just wanted to let you guys know that my upload schedule will be changing. ARK will now be on Mondays and Fridays. Minecraft will now be on Wednesdays. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. That will be coming this Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.